Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Lots of dead people needing collecting. Um. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines here in New Zealand. Thank you very much for joining me. Last episode, we built this lovely area over here which pushed us over to a capital city and we're going to continue to expand. I want to get our ferry network hooked up all the way over here. At the minute it runs just sort of down this bit over here. We're going to get that hooked up everywhere and we're going to use one of our new hubs and yeah, really grow our city. So just before we dive into that, just want to do a little bit of maneuvering of things over this side because we want to fit in the ferry and bus exchange stop and i want to get that in right here um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the game because as you can see when this train is waiting for another one in here this little bit here is not long enough i mean i could unlock this other square now but we're just going to solve that by moving these guys up excuse me can't just, just get that house thank you very much save the rock we'll pop that over here and then we'll use the move it mod and we're going to just shiftify that up a teeny tiny touch i think house here should be okay and that just gives a bit more space down here for any trains that need to wait to get into the station which is good uh, let's just pop a little office there let's remove that yep yeah, that'll do then we're going to need to squeeze all these things up over here because we are short of space just making sure that is still connected so let's do that let's do that don't want to get this other platform accidentally clipping into it like i've done before and then we're gonna to have to move some of these rocks um so let me see where they could go i don't know how big some of these are let's just have a look They're not actually too huge are they so if we sort of move some of them around like this and let's just see how we go Yeah, I think I'm just going to move them around a bit like that for now and then just see what sort of space we've got here. Let's just move that one up a bit. So here we go. Here's our bus and ferry hub. And that is mm, mm, snapping over there. I don't want it to snap. Can I turn off snapping on here? Toggle road snapping. Will that stop it snapping as well? Yeah, sort of no. It's. Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to extend this land out here a bit i think that is the solution to this problem so let's sort of grab that height and go a bit like that we can always adjust this again afterwards yeah, it's like, i want it to oh there we go that's what i want i want it on here <laughs> like that there we go and then we can sort that out. Of course, it's got a road on it as well, which is going to make this interesting. So how am I going to connect this up? Oh, that's looking good. We probably could move some of these rocks back in now to sort of sit up against here. Yeah, I'll fiddle with that in a minute. So we need to get this road. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Ah, oh, we're running out of sewage and stuff like that. I think we're maxed out, you know. Yeah, we are. Is there a fire? <laughs> Is there a fire? No, there isn't a fire. Okay, that's good. Maybe there was a fire. No, it's still pretty low. Okay, so let's just see if we can increase some of this over here. Get distracted for a tiny minute. So we've actually now got the eco advanced inland water treatment part, part uh, plant which does 160,000 meters cubed a week as opposed to 60 so an extra 100,000 that is pretty large could i fit that in here somewhere yeah that plot there could work there you go slight adjustment of the road layout and we're going to pop that in there and that should give us more than enough Yep, and then it's just our water availability. Where is that coming in from? Oh, do you know what I could do now? This is what I wanted to do before. We could add in a nice large water tower. And we could have that over here on our new island. Hopefully somewhere where it's not going to cause too many issues with all the other people that live here. 
and nice and high up. Maybe something like that. There we go. And then we'll get that hooked up as well. And then that should easily cover... Yeah, there we go. That looks okay. And that should easily cover all of our needs. Yeah, we're fine. We're absolutely flying. I'm not going to adjust the budget because every time I do that, it will go wrong. Right, okay. So now I need to just think how we're going to hook this road up. We've got this road access here. Only lead, needs to allow buses in. They could come down there and run up this road. I think, to be honest, that is probably the way to go. There we go. I think that will be perfectly fine. We can then run a water pipe down here. And we'll just hook that one up to there. Power should be okay. Let's just check that's jumping across. Yes, excellent. So we've got access to ferries over here. We'll get access to buses. And I want the people to be able to walk over here to get on to the train with no problem. And this looks like the perfect spot over here. So let's grab this one. Let's turn off road guidelines. There we go. And let's just see if we can get up and over here without causing too many issues. Let's go down again. Oh, we've got anarchy on, which might be, yeah, not helping us out here. Uh, let's get that the same height as this one. Still not quite high enough, and it's going to make it a huge slope over there. Let's find a better spot. There we go. That's okay. The train can get underneath. There we go. And they can easily walk from one side to the other, which is great. And then we can come back and sort out our buses here once we get there. Okay, so that is one ferry stop. Let us run back over here. So we can see we've got a ferry stop here by our university. We've got a ferry stop here by this uh, commercial area over here. And thank you to the 47,000 comments that told me these buildings weren't rebuilding because they were marked as historical. So I removed the historical option and then they just grew back again and they're all fine. I did actually know that, just forgot to do it. But there we go. Um, and we know that our ferry connects round here because we saw that before didn't we there we go so then i would like a stop i mean we could have a couple of stops along here one right by our bus tram hub would be fantastic so let us grab let's have a look here i think a ferry pier off the back of this just seems the right sort of size to hook this in and i'd like it level with that so could we do a little bit of a terraforming here. Let's have a go. Okay, so I think that's going to fit in there really well, which means what we're going to do is we're going to slightly adjust this little section at the back here. Um, I'm going to use the touch it mod to touch this. There we go. So that's going to unhook that. We're going to change that into a bus road like that. Oh, that's one way, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's fine. We can have that one way like that. That'll work out okay. Then if I use the move it mod, is that going to be separate enough for me to extend it? It is. Uh, is it? I'm not sure. Hang on, let's try that again. Let's move some of these things. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw from there to there. Oh, destroy the fence. From there to there. And then I want to line these up. So let's see what we can do. I think that's pretty good so that gives another option around the back fantastic let's fence this thing off again like it was before okay that hub is starting to look nice and then what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to change the parking instead of having it sort of randomly stuck out there i'm going to put the parking in here so let's just clear all the stuff out that's in here all these little trees and such let's take a look at what we've got oh darn it it hasn't fully formed 
the things in there. Let's see if we can help that out. Might just need to move uh, a tiny little touch. Okay, so I thought I'd show you what I'm doing here. So if we have a look in here under our zoning, we can see that we've got three tiles. I want four tiles. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving... Oh, darn it, that's become detached. Moving this out a bit, then checking what we've got here. Okay, so we've got four along here now. So that could probably just come back a touch. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm using this tool here, the zoning adjuster, and I'm turning off zoning on some of these roads like that. So hopefully it gets it to line up. Excellent. There we go. I don't know why that one has gone like that, but that hopefully will be enough for what we need. Let's get that set to the same height as that. Let's get all these roads going around the same way. There we go. So we just need to quickly do that again. There we go. Excellent. So I don't mind a gap in there. So what I'm then going to do is put a little zone over the top of this. Do, 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 do. Excellent. And we're just going to set that as organic and local produce. And I want these parking in there, which we know are two by two. So what I'm going to do is just mark in some two by two, two by two. And then we're going to alternate that. Let's just see what we get if I alternate it all the way down. Yeah, see, that one there would have been the next one. But we're not going to get it. So maybe we'll just have park in here and we'll do something else this side. So let's wait for these to grow in and see what we get. There we go. And then whenever we get one, we'll mark it as a historical building and see what comes up next. And then once these are done in this pattern, oh, there's another one. We can then do the ones in between as well. So, yep. I'll get this all filled in, and then I'll be back with you. Oh my goodness me, you've absolutely no idea how long it has taken me to get this flipping thing to line up correctly. Let's just put a bit of concrete in here to finish this off. There we go. No, it keeps giving me these shops. No matter how I drew these roads in, I just could not get these 4x4 squares to line up the way I wanted. But this is as good as it's going to get. Um, I know there's mods like Plop the Anarchy and uh, Plop the Anarchy, Plop the Plopper Balls, whatever it's called. Something to do with plopping. Yeah, but I'm just doing it this way and I just want this last one, please, to grow in and then we'll be done. Is this the one? Is this the one we're waiting for? It's a flipping shop again. No, don't want it. No, don't want it. Oh, finally. Make sure I'm not going to accidentally bulldoze the thing. Put it on historical building and we are done. I think these are all marked historical. Oh my goodness, that took so long. But I think it's worth the effort. That has really increased this hub. Look at that. That is looking fantastic. Okay, so now people can come and here with the trams. They can come here with the buses. They can walk across to our big main ferry hub. Ignore the fire. Then we're going to want another couple of little ferry stops. I would say maybe one over in this little area here would work quite well. So let's grab just a small one. That'll be fine. I think what we're going to do is we're going to line it up with this road here and then see what we can do to hook this onto there. There we go. That works. That's fine. So that's one over there. And then I want another one over here in this little bay. So let's just see if we can hook that up. I would say right here would work well. There we go that fits in nicely there and then at some point i would imagine we'll have another one down here somewhere but for now i think that will do so i'll connect those up and then we can run our ferry line through all of this as well yeah excellent i was just wondering what this was doing here i just momentarily <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my voice well yeah I was momentarily confused there just for a second, but I've got my faculties about me now, so <laughs> let me get on and do that.
Okay, there we go. So that's got all that hooked up. Now, while we're here destroying uh, these this power line that's here, let me get rid of all of this. I don't want this going across the bay. It's just going to look ridiculous. So let's get rid of all of that. What we can use instead under our disaster services tab if you have the natural disasters dlc is the tsunami warning boy um which will give you an area of effect with electricity so let's pop that i don't know how far the area of effect is no area of effect at all oh i thought there was since when has that not given an area of effect because what's these ones here? Oh, you can't really see what they are. Oh, darn it. I thought they would work. Obviously not. Okay, until I can think of something better, power line it is. And of course, I've forgotten over here. We've got this <laughs> ferry over here that we need to hook up as well. So let me do that. Now that I'm looking here, I'm thinking maybe something over here for the industry people would be nice just in this little spot here we've got a road let's add one in it would just seem like a good idea wouldn't it there we go And then finally, we need to reorganize our line. So I'm going to drag that one. Let's see, that can go down there. And then it can go all the way over to here. That'll be good. And then just make sure that we've got stops everywhere that we need them. Yeah, I think that's it. Excellent. So let's check out that line and just see how many ferries we've got on there. We've got two ferries on there. Oh, it's going to automatically update it for us to eight. Excellent. So at the moment, not many people waiting. He's picked up 22 there. But I'm assuming after a while, this is going to get, there you go, a lot busier as people use it to get to over here, our little hub area. Which is looking rather swish. Over here, people are going to start using this one. And over here as well. What I do want to check is what other lines we've got over here. So we've got bus lines, I believe. Yeah, this one here. So this bus line, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, is move this one and this one down to here so it's not too far they can walk through there that's good we've got tram stops right here and here so they can get through uh, this one down here we've got this bus so i'm going to drag that one down and that one down so we've done that one let's follow this one around here these are trams we've got tram stops right there so they can walk along and get down to here we've got this bus line which we're going to have, where does that go? All the way around there. Yeah, we're going to have it when it goes both directions, stopping. Let's maybe try those the other side of the road. We'll have that one there, and that one there. Hey, there we go, makes more sense. This one is fine, they're all stopping down here, and then they can walk up to here, so that's good. And these other ones should be sorted already. Yeah, that one's sorted, and this one here. Is this the bus? Could have that stop right outside, couldn't we? Go like that. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. And then have we got a stop outside for the school? No, let's do another one. Yeah, there we have. Yeah, we've got one there. Cool. So we're going to let that run for a while and just see whether that increases the passengers already. It's got tons of passengers. So this is going to be this one here right at the end okay this one here is going to be one of the other new ones we've put in yep there we go excellent and then this one here is going to be this one over the other side fantastic that is exactly what we want to see let's see how many people are going to get off this ferry none hooray but there's loads of people waiting for the ferry look they're ready to jump for their lives whoa down there which is great nice and then all i want to do on here is check out the bus routes we've got here so we've got this bus route that goes around everywhere that loops around the whole place so we can get it to come up here let's grab that one oh yeah of course it's a bus hub isn't it so the idea was in my mind is eventually we've got all this island down here and all over there is we can use this bus hub 
to start dropping people off all over the place. We will have some more ferry stops along here, I'm sure. But for now, that looks good to me. So that's going in. Yep, it's added one in. You just can't see it. Maybe let's just move this all down a bit. See if that helps. This is working so well. Look at all the people queuing up for the ferry so they can get a nice trip over to the other side. It sounded more ominous than it was supposed to be. There we go. How many are going to fit on? Not enough. Not enough. Right, okay. Let's just check our route then because obviously people are loving this. Mm, we need to give them more ferries. Let's check over here. Eight vehicles. They've all got... 500 and what the heck yeah that's from here so from here to get over to there there's so many i'll tell you what you know i think we need a second ferry line let me just run that okay so for the second line i've just done a shorter one from our second island over here to the industry bypassing everything else and then just going to our main hub over here and we know from the main hub um, they can get buses, they can get trams, they can do all sorts of stuff. So hopefully that will just help try and, uh, yeah, alleviate the strain on this one over here. Okay, so these ferries are running really, really well. They're picking up all the passengers, taking them around, and I can certainly see a mass transit uh, episode coming up a bit later on. So we can... Oh, my goodness me. So we can really... I reckon we need to encourage biking and do all sorts of stuff to really get people moving around using the options that we've got. Um, traffic is 84%, so I can't really complain. Things are going well. So now... As we're working on water-related stuff, I see comments all the time asking me to put in some fishing injuries, in, in, injuries. Fishing injuries. You know what it's like when those fish jump out and attack you. Sorry, fishing industry stuff. So let's just take a look at the options that we have. So first of all, as you can see here, we have anchovy for days. Absolutely tons of it. Now, if you don't know, um, you can adjust what fish you catch, although it makes absolutely no difference at all. It's all counted as fish. So when you take it to the fish market, it's just fish. There's no differentiation between the sorts. But if you want to change, so for instance, in here, we've all got anchovy. Let's grab this tool here. Let's make that a bit bigger. And let's just say go, oop, not up. <laughs> oh, we just made a new island. Let's go down in this area. Let me have a look at the fishing again. There we go. So as the height of that changes, we get different sorts of fish. We can see that big wave's going out with a load of salmon on it. There's a salmon army heading your way. No, I think we're fine. So that's basically how it works. So where are we going to put our, <laughs> our fishing stuff? I'm wondering over here in this sort of industry type area, is there sort of like we've got the fish farm, fish market, fish factory? Yes, takes the fish from the harbours, turns them into canned fish, delivered to shops in commercial zones. So it counts as goods, as you can see on the little icon that pops up there. That is good because of our importing and exporting is much better with our goods. Remember, I did last episode, the one before, we are up to 1,300. So now it's down to 913, so that's good. But certainly we can put our fish factory in here somewhere so it might just mean we just do a little bit of jiggery pokery here so let's take our bus depot that's going to go right opposite the road there we're going to grab this one here and that is going to come down to here with that attached to there not really so we'll leave that um, and then we'll grab this and that can go 
up against the side there. I'm just going to use the... Oh, this isn't very straight, is it? So let's just use the Move It mod just to straighten that up a touch. There we go. And then we'll just move that along. Do, 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 do. Excellent. So that is our fish factory. We're going to start bringing in the goods from all the fishing harbours we're going to set up. And where do we want them? Where do we want to get those set up? Well, we do have a need for jobs. So down here it says we need industry, which is fine. That's going to create jobs. But if you have a look at our population tab, we do have 12% unemployment. So I reckon a few of these fish things dotted around, fish harbours, and we've got access to fish farms, which are a bit bigger. And that is really going to help. I don't think you want fish farms right where you've got all your industry stuff going on. Maybe a little bit further down. But I certainly want to pop in some of these little fishing harbours and give some people some jobs they can go to. So we've got to be careful here because obviously we've got all of our ferries going about. But I can certainly start this down here. It looks like a perfect spot. Oh, we've got that problem with the flipping tram road again. That tram road, you know. I put it in with all good intentions, and it's just done nothing but caused me problems ever since I put the darn thing in. Let's just pop that there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Move It mod just to finagle that a little bit. So let me just connect these up on here. There we go. I think that'll be okay. Looking nice, looking nice. Excellent. And then we can set out some fishing fishing from there. Some fishing for fish from there. And so we've got one there. Um, where else? Where else? I want to sort of spread these around. I'm thinking over here somewhere. Oh, is that uh, full up? We'll get rid of that. Do you know what, actually? This cemetery was only ever going to be a temporary thing over there. Oh, my goodness. Lots of dead people needing collecting. Um, let's just check our death care coverage quickly. Uh, this one here. So we've got no death care coverage over in this area at all. That is not good. Let's add one over there to help with that. Uh, we don't have any down here at all. Let's add one in there. We've got this one here, which is now empty in. So I think we need to add another one in. Let's pop one in down over here. Excellent. Go and sort all of that out. Sorry, everybody. Apologies, apologies. Okay, so I'm going to add another one right over here. And I'm thinking at some point we'll have a couple in this little area here. And maybe have this as little industry sort of hub. But until we own that square, we'll just go with this one. So I'm going to pop that one there. Oh, I can't destroy the rock. Save the rock! Let's not have hashtag save the rock. Because otherwise the rock is going to wonder why we're talking about him all the time. What is it? Why can I not now move the rock? The rock. There we go. There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Okay, so let's just pop this one in here. And then what we'll do is we'll just add a few little shops around there just for this area. There we go. I think that will make the people a lot happier. Excellent. So that's one there. Maybe some jobs for this area. That's one there. And then I am thinking the fish farm could actually go. It's a shame we've got this right here. Maybe here. I wanted it by this sort of far... This bit here. Look, you're not going to come down to this beach here with all the industry going on behind. So let's add the fish farm, if we can, on here somewhere. That would be good. Okay, I think that fits in well for now. I've just moved the ferry stop a little bit further down there. I'm thinking in the future this is going to move over to here somewhere. But for now, we'll go with that. So that's our fish farm. That is going to start creating fish for us. There we go. 
which should then be taken over there. We could just do with, uh, let's go over here. Is there any storage options? So we've got the fish factory, the fish farm, not yet. We've got bigger fish farms and stuff, but then we've got the fish market, which takes the fish and sells them direct to customers. And that has a good area of effect as well. Oh, could we add a fish market? Oh, there's no space over there. We've used it all up. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder whether we could just sort of squeeze it in somewhere so people come to the park, come to the hypermarket and buy their fish. Or what about this land down here? What have we got? An elementary school. I bet we could do something with it down here. Oh, no, it's huge. That is never going to fit in there in a million years. Darn it. Oh, actually, that little spot there. Oh, I've got anarchy on. <laughs> Looks like it's fine. No, turn anarchy off. Never going to fit. So I think with this one, what I am going to do is put a little warehouse there. It can only hold, it can't hold fish. It can only hold the commercial goods. So I'm going to put that and put that on empty. Just, I think it finishes off that little area there. Makes it look a bit more like, yeah, a proper fishing area. So all we need to do now is run our fishing lines. So let's get to doing that. And I think we want to sort of come over here, away from where all the, yeah, where all the ships are. So what I'm going to do, as we've seen in previous episodes, there is like an exact 100% that you can go for. Which, oh, I was going to say, I'm not going to bother doing it, but <laughs> I just can't help myself. <laughs> so let's wait for the fish, fish boat to come out. There we go. We'll follow this guy. See how far he gets, whether he... Oh, I've stopped following him. Whether he gets 100%. And then we can adjust our line accordingly. Here he goes. There you go. So as you can see, our line's far too long. We've got him coming all the way out here. It's a shame you can't say, have the line going like that, but only fish this bit. Because I wouldn't want them fishing where these boats go past. But there really is nothing we can do about that. So what I'm going to do is delete all of that section there. And have that just sort of come up to there. And then if we follow the one that's behind the bit I've just changed. That one there. See how far he goes. Still far too big. Still far, far too big. Do you know what? It got to 100% here and then he sped up for the last bit. So I think that is the sort of size we're going to go for. So let me just set up these other ones as well, just very quickly. Oh, look at that. Not too bad at all. So that's that one and that one. And then we've got the fish market over there. Uh, the fish, whatever it's called there. I feel like I need another fishing. You know, this is this is, this is is what the industry would be, isn't it? You live in a place like this, you would expect boats to be absolutely everywhere. So I want to find if I can fit one along here somewhere. Do you know, I've changed my mind. This area here is a nice little commercial spot with all the little watery type attraction things going on. But where we're going to put another one is, if we come all the way over here, part oh, it looks so alive, doesn't it, with all the boats. We're going to come all the way over here, and round the back, we are going to pop another one just in this area here. Oh, look at that, 100%, perfect. So yeah, we are definitely getting a ton of fish coming in, which the factory would turn into goods. So that is also going to help our good situation. Let's have a look at this thing over here. How is it going? Lots of fish coming in. Lots of commercial goods going out. That is absolutely brilliant. And this was lined up before. <laughs> I'll reline this up. So all I need to do now is find out where to put our fish market. Right, I'm looking at this bit of land over here that's unused. You wouldn't really use this as a relaxing beach sort of area, would you? With all the boats and the noise from the transit hub and the road and all that sort of thing going on. Uh, we also don't need this down here. Let's just delete. Yep, thank you very much. Delete those. So I'm thinking if we just slightly change uh, these roads here. Let's get rid of that and get rid of that. We could pop it along here in fact we could even maybe we could fit it in where we just took that parking from 
Ooh. Do you know, if I anarchied that in, that probably would fit in there. And then if we slightly change this road, I'm going to grab that road there and upgrade this bit here. There we go. So then it changes to the faster road down there. And then if we just grab the move it mod and just do a tiny little bit of finagling, I reckon we can get that in there. And that can be our fish market right by this area over here. And I could see people jumping off their ferries, trams, buses at the little hub that we've got going on. Running over here, buying some fish from the fish market and being really pleased with that. All right. Well, I certainly would. Get a fish taco or something. Excellent. So, before we can unlock the other things here, we need to collect a whole ton of fish. So, 250,000 to get the fishing harbour. The salmon fishing harbour, the same. 2 million for the shell fish harbour. Uh, tuna fish is 2 million. So, again, this doesn't make any difference. It will just collect whatever fish is there. But the algae farm and the seaweed farm. And if we get those, there is a policy that goes along with those, uh, which is fishing licence. Uh, change for small amounts of money, increases all residential tax income by 5%, reduces citizen happiness and increases crime by 5%. Not sure I want to do that, but we've got this one down here, algae-based water filtering. So once we get to the algae farm, it will help with our water problems as well. Well, I think that was a very successful water-based episode. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. And any tips or any ideas that you've got, always happy to hear those. Thank you very much for watching. Watch out for the ferry. For goodness sake, we need the fish. And I will see you all very soon. Have a fantastic day. And maybe check out the other episode on the screen as well. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.